What's up, y'all? It's your boy Jay with the play, and today we we back with another power video. In today's video, we are gonna break down this power trailer even more. Already, I did a video about mid season recap in my uh, last video. Now we about to break down the season even more and talk about any returning characters and any possible theories. And y'all, let me know what y'all think might happen in the comments. You ever done anything you had to do, even if it was the last thing you wanted to do? All right, now and we start off with Effie. I ain't gonna lie, Effie fine as fuck, but she been a snake since she got on this dang on show. We really cannot trust her. We don't even know who her connect is. She just be popping up every couple of dang on episodes out the blue, acting like she been here. So, yeah, we gonna see what trick she got up on her sleeve. But first off, let's pause it right there. Man, because, bruh, I'm not gonna lie. This nigga Tyreek got hoes. This man got Effie or her fine self. Diana, and then he got Tasha. Uh, uh, dang, I forgot the girl name, but the girl from Everybody Hate Chris. Like, damn, this man got. Come on now. Hell in the game, right? Let's see y'all play. That dude came is crazy. My dog Braden. We not finna act like we don't like him because he ain't pissed everybody off yet so far. He ain't no annoying ass fucking character like Tyreek was and probably one. As of right now, he is helping him out, getting money, but uh. Hopefully he don't die because he is rich. He got rich parents. He in college and whatnot. And he wasn't really brought up in the street life like that. So hopefully we don't see him get killed. And as you see, Kane got this man hitting licks now. So I guess this might be his first robbery that he going to hit. He might just start becoming a thug on the low. Move. Hopefully Raider don't turn into a young little Tommy and become vicious. But as of right now, yeah, you see your boy Raider right behind Kane thugging out here, hitting legs. So hopefully he don't turn into no little Tommy and start being vicious as of right now. Kane is, uh, I mean, Raiden is a really good dude. Three, are you fundamentally good or bad? If I'm bad, does it change anything? You got somebody in there? It's not even like that. And dang, just like that, my dog Tarina had got caught up. I guess he can get ready to smash, and then she had walked in on him. I mean, if I was him, I would have had smashed, but she just had to ruin it. So hopefully she don't get mad and start fighting over this man, because ain't no point of y'all fighting over him. But let's see if she really toxic. If you hurt what's mine, I swear to God, I will find a way to hurt what's yours. Okay, now Tasha, my wife, uh, hopefully uh, she don't throw down with Monette because Monette do got more power than her right now but looks like she gets into her first argument with Monette y'all remember now Tasha is hood now she could turn gangster a little bit now remember she ain't no soft girl so hopefully we see what go down between her and Monette okay now we got Lorenzo living in jail like he a goddamn G for some goddamn reason hopefully we could find out his connection towards Ghost and Tommy hopefully we can find that out but uh Hopefully he don't hurt Tasha because he better not hurt her. But uh, yeah, uh, I wonder what he might do. I can compel you to testify. All right, sex. I'm ready to about kill this dude like for real, though, like in like real life. I wish they would have been killed this dude back in Power Book One when they had a chance to. Like that would have really made everybody happy. But uh, he's like I said in my last video, he's just a dirty ass cop that always trying to find some shit to get up under somebody's sleeve. And uh, I guess he gonna blackmail Tyreek. He try to put Tyreek in jail now. Now that he found out that Tyreek was the one who killed his dad. So hopefully we see Sax fail and hopefully he gets killed because we I, I I really want this dude to die. I'm focused. The app is blowing up. There's something that you're hiding. Jabari, which is one of Tariq's uh, college professors. I do not like Jabari. Like, I would really slap the dude like in like in real life. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't find out about the app, even though he did copy Tariq work, uh, put it on his book because he's a book writer. Hopefully, Tariq can find that out and blackmail him on that because it looks like he will find out about the app. So hopefully, yeah, you find out about the app or I'm going to tell everybody that you copy my stuff. So hopefully Tyreek could be smart enough and blackmail him on that. I'm pretty sure Tyreek will do that. Even though he dumb as fuck, he is a pretty smart kid. So hopefully he can uh, out-dodge um, Jabari stupid ass. So yeah. Kane. Over here looking like Meat Mill. Not only is Kane a damn G, but he's a damn G. Uh, yeah, y'all remember when earlier I talked about the robbery with uh, Brayden? Uh, yeah, hopefully uh, he makes it out of there alive. You see a little police siren. Hopefully nothing goes bad. And hopefully, hopefully Kanan doesn't die. Because watch how they going to kill him. My favorite fucking character. They always kill my favorite characters. Uh, yes, there is no secret. Uh, Kane, my favorite character on Power Book 2. Um, yeah, so hopefully... 
he stays in control because if you see in the other little trailers, he kind of he always getting wild. He always getting out of hand. He always trying to argue, and he does not like Tyreek for some damn reason. I think that will go smooth and have a good relationship. But uh, it's obviously that Kane is really about that life. I thought we had a deal, Sax. Method Man, I mean Davis McLean in that little two dot last suit. Okay, so he makes a deal with Sax after uh, Sax tells him that he knows that Tyreek had killed the dude. Like I showed y'all earlier, he actually showed him the clip. So now him and Sax makes a deal to go ahead and take Tyreek down to jail. Plus, Tyreek ain't even finished paying him all the money. Remember, he working for Monette to pay all the money back. So, he made some deal with Sax to put Tyreek in jail. But, as y'all seen in this trailer, y'all cannot trust Sax. Like, Sax needs to fucking die. Like, I will kill Sax if y'all want me to. Like, for real. Like, just, like, pay me. Anyway, so, I guess Sax betrays him somehow. And, yeah, y'all know how Sax go. And, uh, hopefully, Davis McLean gets back at him. But uh looks like he lost a lot um like on the way he had react in the trailer. We need to see what the fuck Sag has done, cause Sag really made me want to slap the shit out of him. You can't trust anybody. This nigga Zeke got about the easiest job on this damn show. All this man gotta do is clap cheeks and play basketball. He already got Tyreek doing all his damn work. This man got the easiest job on the damn show. I wish I could have been Zeke. Like, I should have tried out for dang on Zeke when they had trials. But anyways, Zeke got the easy job. He really ain't got nothing to worry about. He had no drama really to deal with. Unless that story gets leaked out. Really, he about grown enough to mess with her because he is in college. So he at least 18. But it would obviously look wrong for a teacher to be messing with a student. But other than that, Zeke is cool. He ain't got nothing to really worry about. He got it like a good life really on the show. You need to tell me everything that you've been up to. Now the GCG gang. Y'all remember last time when um, y'all saw the GCG gang when Kane beat the fuck up that man because he had disrespected Monette. Obviously, we was all expecting them to make a comeback because obviously y'all and just let that happen. So, yeah. Hopefully, they don't kill nobody from the Tahada family. Hopefully, they don't kill Kane. I really don't want them to kill Kane. But, yeah, they're going to make a comeback, and we're going to see how they uh bounce back. For, like, a little split second, we see that Tyreek fighting somebody. We would love to see who Tyreek is fighting because uh, we also see Drew in that same type of fighting stance, except he's on top. So, maybe Tyreek and Drew are fighting for some reason. I, uh, as of right now, they're cool, but on a trailer, you both can see them fighting for like a little split second before it's changed to something else. So hopefully shit don't go sideways between them two because they is kind of cool together, though. You know everything. This ain't no negotiation. Do we have an understanding? Now, Monette gets her first body on the show so far as we see. Who does she kill right here? Drew and Kane aren't in the video right here that's being showed. It's only uh, Diana, Monette, and Tyreek. So, yeah, who does she kill? Hopefully, it isn't, it isn't one of the brothers. And, like, he's like, she trying to tell Tyreek to get his head in the game and kind of keep quiet. Because, you see, she is kind of getting on him. But, yeah, y'all, who y'all think she killed? Y'all let me know in the comments. All right, y'all, thank y'all for watching. That was the episode trailer recap. Just letting y'all know what might happen and what possibly could happen right before the next episode drop. Hopefully, Tommy do make an appearance because we always waiting on Tommy. But, yeah, go ahead, like, and share this video and give me some comments on what other shows and movies y'all want me to review and any hip-hop news y'all want me to cover. All right, y'all, peace.